Hey everybody, Prepared Patriarch here. I uh, promised you guys a long time ago that I would show you how I was going to um, put my beans and my rice into storage. Well, I found hundreds of pounds of beans and hundreds of pounds of rice sitting in the basement in their original packaging, which is something you definitely should not do. It's been maybe a month, so okay, it's not too bad but um, it's a bad habit it's a bad habit that I have and take me as an example as a bad example and don't do what I do um, get your stuff processed immediately within a few days a week max it shouldn't really remain in its original packaging I mean technically it, it stays on store shelves in its original packaging for weeks maybe months who knows but we're better than that right we're preppers so let's get let's get started it's um wednesday night technically thursday morning around a couple of minutes after 2 a.m and i can't sleep so i came down here to to do this um thanks for watching Give me a like, give me a subscribe, hit the little uh, notifications icon, and hit all, if you don't mind. I appreciate it, and I love your comments too, by the way, guys. So, um, let's begin with buckets, right? I went to Home Depot, and I bought food-grade buckets, okay? Now, once you have food-grade buckets, you don't need... Mylar bags. Mylar bags are not necessary. Mylar bags are that little extra step for super long term, you know, 30 years, 40 years. You want to keep your rice, beans, uh, different legumes, uh, lentils and whatnot. Uh, also dried wheat, uh, wheat berries, corn, dry corn. What else? Well, you get the picture. Uh, if you want to keep it for 25, 35 years, use the um, use the bags. But these create a perfectly good airtight seal. They lock all the air out. So you can pour. This is a gamma lid, by the way. These are extremely hard to put on. Okay, they come in two pieces. It's got the outer ring. Um, this has a rubber gasket inside. Okay, so once it makes contact with the lip of the bucket, it's got a really nice, tight uh, rubber gasket at seal. Also, do you see that white rubber gasket? So when you screw this on here, okay, and you screw it, give it a little, a little extra that's an airtight seal completely utterly hundred percent air tight all right if you want to um, I'd say throw an oxygen absorber in there just because oxygen absorbers are dirt cheap on Amazon um, I had I bought a combo pack a couple months ago I got 25 five gallon mylar bags and 25 2000 cc oxygen absorbers for a lot of money it's actually quite embarrassing I'm not gonna share with you how much I paid for them but I paid a lot of money for them way too much than you're gonna and way too much way more than I uh, I mean way more than you're gonna and way more than I could right now they're I mean now they're they're, they're cheap under $50 um, for the for both the bags and the oxygen absorbers but just recently a few days ago I received my uh, 3,000 cc oxygen absorbers, 20 of them, and 100 cc oxygen absorbers. A hundred of those, no, was it? No, I'm sorry, 200 cc oxygen absorbers, 100 pieces. Uh, and that was like $12, 12 $13 uh, for each one. So. I would say if you're gonna do 
the bucket with a mylar bag. Now, if you're, you're going to use mylar bags, if you want to go the mylar bag route, you don't need food grade uh, buckets because the food is not making contact with the bucket. So the whole BPA free, you know, the, the why there's, you know, the fanciness of the food grade buckets aren't necessary if you're using um, <clears throat> mylar, mylar bags. But if you want to go just buckets, then you don't need, uh, I mean, just food grade buckets, you don't need the mylar bags. I'm doing both, okay? And you don't need the gamma, the gamma lids are for when you're kind of, ha you have a, like a working pantry, you're opening it, you're scooping out your rice, scooping out your beans, cooking with it. Um, I don't know, I guess I got the, 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 the good one, I thought it was going to be the good one, like, yeah, I get the best one, whatever, waste of money, really, you don't need, you don't need the gamma lids, unless you do need them, if you have a specific um, scenario, you know, your lifestyle calls for gamma lids, get gamma lids, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and put some food in a mylar bag, I'm gonna fix this camera tripod, guys. I'm gonna lower it a little bit so you guys can see. All right, I hope this is all right. This is a bucket. What should we do? Let's do some beans. Let me grab my knife. Okay, so if you want to, if you want to try to do it quick, pick up the bag, Pour it in there, that's fine. Um, you know, you might get a little bit of spill, you might not. If you want to, if you want to be careful, get a little scooper, a little plastic bucket like this. I bought this at Home Depot too. Or this is, I got this, well, I don't know. I think I got this from my restaurant. It's a little uh, stainless steel measuring cup. It's got lines on the inside. Not that we're going to be using it for measuring, but anyway. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do both Mylar bags and, and food grade buckets, obviously. So these plastic bags are almost like burlap. They're uh, like woven, woven plastic. So they're they're very breathable, which is not a good thing, I'd say. Maybe the air can spoil them. Maybe you can get um, some pests, some bugs. Who knows? I shouldn't have waited this long, but it is what it is. You got your five gallon Mylar bag. And you just insert it into your bucket. Grab your little scooper. Good. 
And then once you're just getting up a little bit, maybe six, eight, ten inches, you want to give it a little pat. thing with the gamma lid is it's a deep lid okay it's about I don't know it goes in about three inches from the top of the bucket so you don't want to fill the product right to the top okay leave a few inches for the gamma lid to insert I think this is good. This is perfect. So we have all this excess. What are we going to do with all this excess? I don't know. I tried cutting it before, once before, and uh, I don't know, it just didn't work out very good when you, when you cut it. If you don't know, I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to seal the entire thing. I have a, uh, a flattening iron. This is a old one that my wife does not use anymore. And if she st still did use it, it wouldn't matter anyway because it does not affect the iron one bit. It doesn't damage it. And here we go. the oxygen absorber in. Okay. No matter. Yeah, I don't think I can fit it in now. No. Alright, now I have to cut it. I forgot to put the oxygen absorber in. So, we're going to cut right underneath where we made the seal feel like such a dumb dumb but it's all right we learned from our mistakes all right you can make fun of me in the comments uh, for a five gallon bucket of food in a mylar bag bear from bear independent suggests a 2000 cc oxygen absorber so surprise surprise I will be using a 2000 cc oxygen absorber okay we still have plenty of real estate to, uh, to hit with the sealer so the thing about oxygen absorber guys once you they come in a they come vacuum sealed okay once you open that vacuum seal and you've got 20 30 um, 100 of these little packets they're gonna start to absorb oxygen and you only have a matter of I don't know how long but probably I don't know five minutes to 
to get them in air airtight container before they before they go bad. So you take it, drop it right on top. One to thirty. I have it on thirty. Let me knock it down to twenty-five. And this part isn't as easy as it you may think it is. Not by watching me, but just in your head. I'm sure I'm not making this look easy. See any spots that are possibly um, have gaps? Just go over it. Ladies and gentlemen, is a five gallon bucket full of pinto beans. You see what I meant about the. Uh... Now, if you had a rubber mallet at this point, it would come in. It would come in pretty pretty useful but feel that you hear that I mean oh yeah listen I'm 350 pounds I put all my all my weight into that just to get it to click it was gallon bucket of pinto beans 40 years she'll be good so let's go over to 
the other table. Let's see what else we got. There are other methods. 40, um, five gallon buckets of beans is not uh, practical for everybody. It's not, I don't know, it's practical the word I'm looking for? No. Um, maybe practical, yes. Maybe you're a family of two, a family of one. Uh, maybe you're not big eaters. Maybe you have a farm. Maybe, maybe, maybe. A lot of variables in prepping. So, what you can do is, excuse me a moment while I bring this back to its original form. Hey, okay. So, these are the oxygen absorbers I was telling you about. Okay, these are the 200 cc, 100 of them in there. And these are the 3000 cc, 20 of them in here. It's a nice sound. So you want to get this open. Okay, indicator. If it turns this color, it's no good. Let's not let that happen. Get on there, baby. Two hundred CCs have been saved. They are stored properly. They will keep. All right, three thousand CCs. These are some big mama jammas, and. Um, indicator not the indicator itself but I think it's a uh, oh man down I think it's a uh, sample color two man overboard I'm a bad captain tonight all right All right, the 3,000 cc's are secure. All right, what are some other options you may ask? Say, open patriarch. Do you only put them in buckets? Um, no, I do not only put them in buckets. I, uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you the other ways that I do them, which are, as you guys probably could have guessed, these are the one gallon uh, vacuum sealer bags from Amazon. BPA free, good to go, easy vac for all your vacuuming needs. So if you want to be fancy, okay. one second.
get a scale. Turn it on. You put on your receptacle and then you hit zero. So you, you do a tear. If you want, this is completely and utterly optional. It's not a... What's that? 2.29. Let me see. Not that. <laughs> you have to see this, but... Four point seven five. Can we do five pounds? Can we do five pounds? Let's see. No, five pounds. Is not fitting in that bucket. Okay, five pounds on the dot, ladies and gentlemen. So now, let's bring forth the vacuum sealer. Okay, so this is a one gallon bag. A five gallon bag takes 200 cc's, a five gallon bucket. If a five gallon bucket takes 200 cc's, divided by five, a hundred. Okay. No, I'm sorry. It's late. It's like 2.30 in the morning. I'm sorry. So it's 2,000 divided by 5. 200. No, 200 would be divided by 10. 100. Wow. Like how can I post this on YouTube? Anyway, so I got these uh, 200 cc one, um, oxygen absorbers that I'm going to use for the one gallons, okay? Throw that in there. You want to throw two? Let's throw two, just in case. So, so once she's open, you insert like so. You guys want a better angle? Holy Jesus, it's been 30 minutes already. So then, double click, one on each side. There's airtight and gentle. 
airtight is rough, gentle is gentle. Dry and moist, we're doing dry. So seal, we're just gonna seal. Vacuum and seal, and then there's a stop button. So we're gonna do vacuum and seal. You know what I do? I kind of flatten it out as best I can, just so it's gonna be like easier to stack, easier to store. You can even put them upright, like uh, like that Japanese lady on Netflix when she comes and organizes people's homes, when she puts the clothes. Mary Kondo. Wait for the seal light to turn off, and it's off. That means it's sealed. Hit those two buttons on each side to release. And voila. Pablo Escobar would be proud. You got yourself two kilos of pinto beans. Frijoles, okay? Got your ox oxygen absorbers in there for just that little bit that's in there between the beans. This also will last you for 25, 35 years. Don't leave this on the shelf. I would probably put this in a uh, one, maybe just fill up one of those buckets with a bunch of these or two pounders or one pounders, get smaller bags, get it tote. One of those Sterilite totes or a Plano or something. Uh, fill those up with a bunch of these. Open them as you need them, you know, an SHTF, whatever that may be. A uh, Biden Antifa takeover of the, the country, which might be likely. No, I'm just kidding. Um, maybe you're in a hurricane, maybe a prolonged power outage, you know, maybe you're out of power for a month. So you just open one at a time. Uh, that's it guys. We're, we're at 32 minutes and counting. Third, third, um, met method is to, I know they're hard to come by right now, but the prepared patriarch has got his ways. All right. I've got the wide mouth quart mason jars, 32 ounces, baby. There's plenty more where I came from. Let me know if you need any, okay? I don't really do any jarring or canning. I got them uh, just to get them, I guess. My wife makes sauce. Um, she does like uh, tomato sauce. She does marinated eggplants things like that. Not that much. You know, if I bought one case, it would have been enough, but just because they're so hard to come by and uh, I'm thinking of getting into meats, into uh, pressure canning meats, like ground beef, some uh, some stew meat, maybe chicken. I don't know. Uh, in case the freezers, you know, if you have no electricity, you know, freezers are down. I got no meat. Unless we're doing canned tuna and canned chicken and canned roast beef and gravy. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. If you sat through this 35 minutes of, of me uh, blabbering on, God bless you. Thank you. I love you. You know? Uh, what else can I say? I wish you guys all the best of luck. May God watch over you. May God bless you. And today... And this is what we're going through now, uh, it being a day or two or three after election day, the turmoil, this uncertainty that we're going through. May, uh, may we get through it peacefully, calmly, and uh, may it be for the better of our nation. Not any individual, may it be for the better of our nation, okay? Take care, all you guys. Take care of each other.